In Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the queen, Snow, Snow White's stepmother, asked the mirror, "Mirror, mirror, who is the most beautiful in this world?" And the mirror answered, "Snow White." The queen could not accept the, this answer, which was just in the mirror's opinion. Like this mirror, currently society and media is defining beauty as just one particular standard. But if we think of it, the question of who is the most beautiful in this world is wrong because everyone's perspective on beauty is diverse, and that difference is what makes each person special and the society more valuable from each person's uniqueness. We have to ask ourselves: Aren't we caging ourselves into the standard of the mirror? Or the screen of social media that fails to show the true beauty? Aren't we, like the queen in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, wandering and reflecting ourselves against the mirror, and going after Snow White and the standard? Isn't the mirror just a screen that forces people into ready-made molds? Two years ago, when I was in Korea, I was starting my first year of middle school, and I was excited. In my class, there was this girl who I, th who I thought was perfect. She was kind, she was smart, and she was pretty, and everyone seemed to like her. At this time, mo a lot of the students put on cosmetics and mimicked the celebrities they liked with makeup and fashion. Soon, most of my friends started putting on makeup, and I felt like I had to keep up with them because that felt like the only way I could make friends, the only way I could be popular, the only way I could be included on what they're talking about. And because a lot of people can't help but judge in the first sight. One day, I looked through the selfie app I loved using. And I realized that I had photoshopped my face, so I looked like one of the celebrities with white skin, like pale skin, and big eyes and a sharp nose. And I realized that that was not me. I realized that I fixed my face and gave, giving up my own face features to look a little more, a little more closer to what I thought was expected in the society. Society says you have to be a model citizen. Society says you have to be enthusiastic, positive, hopeful, but also kind and obedient. Society says you have to work hard in school and you have to be smart in order to achieve more. So every day when people wake up, they only they in the days they say. Oh, I wish I was as smart as that person. I wish I was as popular as that person. I wish I was as loved much as that person. Just to fit in that one single mold. And then they start putting on makeup, fake layers of makeup that would make them look like someone else, and come out to the community only to act like someone else. As they do these things, they feel they as if they're finally accepted and fit in to the standard. Two years ago, wasn't I also blinded by the fake reflection of the mirror that told me what to be? Love yourself. You are special. Be you. Why? Why do you have to? Give up on catching up on latest trends and celebrities, celebrities, and why do you have to get out of that mold that you finally seem to fit in? Because you can't give up who you are as an individual. Because you have so much to give up as you try to squish yourself into that little mold, and because you have a dream to do what you enjoy, not to spend your time trying to look like someone else. And if you don't have a clear dream yet, just start by loving yourself as a whole. Try looking at the mirror that shows your true self, and your inner beauty, and your dreams, and don't go after Snow White. 
don't try to fit in that standard the society made for you because that is just only someone else's opinion. So today, when you return home from the community, try looking at the mirror that shows your true self and your inner beauty that was hidden below the thick layers of makeup. And say to the mirror, 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 even though I might not be as smart as that person, even though I may not look as pretty as that person, even though I may not be as popular as that person, I am still beautiful. I will, based on, based on the standards I looked, grew up with, which is pale skin and big eyes and a sharp nose and skinny legs and skinny arms, <laughs> I have the skin that's not skin color that's nothing close to white, and I don't have double eyelids that make my eyes look big. And sometimes I can be shy and can be considered as not fun to talk with. But also I can make people laugh and I can express myself with drawing and writing. Murmur, even though I may not be as smart as that person, even though I may not be as pretty as that person, even though I may not be as popular as that person, I am still beautiful because I have the will to break the fake glass of the mirror. Snow White is the most beautiful person in this world, the mirror said. But so what? That's only the mirror's opinion. <laughs> break the fake glass of the mirror and try looking at your true self and your inner beauty, and believe that beauty. Thank you.